This week, a local teenager is walking away $10,000 richer. The LA high schooler beat a nation of finalists by creating an incredible 18th century inspired gown. It is right here and the twist, it is made with duct tape. Yes, that is right. And joining us live is Francisco Bravo, medical magnet, high school student and winner of the Duck Brands annual Stuck at Prom contest. Her name is Carla Torres. Should we give that for Carla? Oh, Carla. Big round of Carla. You're so, Thank you. I think more than anything, I, just, I, just, I feel really proud of you because I feel like someone, yes. you, you took the initiative to see something you liked on TikTok. So you used social media and then you decided that you wanted to be part of this competition too. Yes. How did the, how has the whole experience changed your life? Well, I really didn't expect anything to come out of it. I just really wanted to push myself into it. So Good. seeing that I made it this far, it just, I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. And as we, you should yeah. be. We are Come proud here. of you too. So, so are your teachers past oh, and sorry. present. Your teachers at uh, Kennedy Elementary tweeted me and said that they are so proud of you and they were all <laughs> voting for you. You beat out other finalists and we covered this story from that point when you were a finalist and then you won the whole competition. We were like, we have to have you on. Yes. So many questions about you and the dress. You have it here. It is duct tape, which is hard to believe because there's so much detail. Tell us a little bit about how you did this. Well, it took a lot of trial and error. So my mom has a lot of like crafting machines. So maybe that put us in advantage. And the base is actually a petticoat that we put duct tape over. Nice. And the part over here is made out of a bra that we deconstructed. And most of the part is using wax paper and then putting duct tape on top of it. Okay. Which helped us with creating the whole gown. Did you know you could do this? Like, take me back to TikTok. When you saw the girl before you enter this competition, you actually voted for that young mm -hmm. woman because you were rooting for her. When did you know that you could do this too? Well, I knew I wanted to join this contest mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted to do it senior year. I just wanted to give it a go. Sh give it just a go, good for you. And we understand 120 hours, yes. 40 rolls of tape. How did you get into it? Because we see those pictures of you wearing the dress. Well, it's definitely easier to get the bottom part as it's a petticoat. And for the top part, I actually had to get it taped on. So I need an assistant. So my mom would help me oh, tape nice. it on. Wow. And then for to take it off, she'll have to like rip it off or cut yeah. it off. And then you won $10,000. Were you shocked? Tell me about the moment you learned that you were the big winner. Well, they actually called me and I was, at the moment I was sleeping, so I got <laughs> woken up by the calls. Well, hello. <laughs> I was like, hello. Uh, and then when they told me I was the winner, I was so excited. I was like, I had it to tell my mom. Of but course, everyone she helped was, you, right? Yeah, she definitely helped Aww. me along the way in the process of like the voting and mm -hmm. through the very beginning. And mm -hmm. tell us about your inspiration because I read that there are some local spots that inspired you. Yes, I was inspired by the Getty. I took a field oh, trip nice. to the Getty in January, so I was very inspired by like the French paintings that I saw, very like elegant dress, so I knew I wanted to create an elegant dress as well. I'll tell you, when I first saw it, and yesterday we had the Quinceanera Expo people here to talk about that, oh. it, it reminded me of a Quinceanera dress, and it's so, are you paying homage to the culture? Are you paying homage to being a Latina here in SoCal? Well, I was definitely, want to represent the yeah. Hispanic community, but I, I initially didn't think or give it homage to uh, quinceanera dress. dress. <laughs> I just wanted to create a dress. Good for you. It is incredible. And Carla, it's not just a dress, but you did a purse. The accessories. That matches and also <laughs> uh, uh, roses for your hair. How did you do these roses? Oh my goodness. As I mentioned before, my mom has a lot of crafting machines. Yeah. So this was a press machine. So. We had the wax paper, we covered it with duct tape and with metal stencils, we were able to press it through a machine and then it cuts. And it was actually a discovery we made. We weren't sure if it was actually gonna work. Okay. Is it supposed to cut paper? So we were like duct is tape, it is it gonna work? So, and it did. And it actually did work. And it's what helped us make the trim, the and necklace all and all the flowers. So it definitely, this discovery helped us a lot with the design. Do you want to be a dress designer? You're, you're straight out of Boyle Heights. You've graduated from high school. What's next? And is this maybe what you want to do? Well, the next step is definitely college. I'll be studying as a business marketing major. And once I graduate, I hope to work in the fashion industry. 
If you heard it That's here, so cool. audience, I am sure someone would want so cool. to have you working with yeah. them. What's next for the dress? What are you going to do with this creation? As I won the scholarship, I will have to send it to the headquarters of Duck Brand oh. and they'll be displayed with the other winners. <gasps> That's oh, really cool. Incredible. So it started by getting inspired by going to the museum mm -hmm. and now it's going to be displayed in the museum. Look yeah. That. Okay, okay Carla, thank you. We okay. have an unconventional ask before we go. <laughs> Can you help us okay, start to do a duct tape dress? Yeah, Megan and I are no tape. artists, but is it that you tape two pieces together so that one side is not sticky? Is that what it is? No. Here, I you can, you can demo or have Megan demo yeah. on my dress. You would just yeah. start doing what? Go ahead. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, okay. So you, there's something underneath as mentioned with yeah. the wax paper. Yeah, I, what can we get in Carla? Another piece? And then you kind of just start stacking the pieces. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here, and then oh. I guess like if you want to use a different color, then you can start doing that. But you use all the cool tools. All we have here today are scissors to start going. See? Use like a rod there. That is so cool. I'm gonna duct tape the heck out of Lister yeah, after this. Nothing Group like hug this. Here. Aww, yes. Congratulations. Carla. We're so proud of you representing right here in Southern California. And your parents, mom and dad. Mwah, yeah. You raised a good daughter. Congratulations. Her future is bright. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate you coming on. And this is just so incredible. Best of luck in everything you do for me here on out. Thank you, Carla. Congratulations. And we'll be right back.